Hi, I'm Ayla, the science educator for Ocean First Institute. In today's quarantine classroom, we're going to be doing an experiment on sea level rise. When the Earth's temperature heats up, it causes ice to melt. Whether or not this is land ice, like a glacier, or sea ice, like an iceberg, can have a huge impact on marine environments. This is especially important because so many of our favorite animals, like polar bears and seals, rely on ice for their habitat, whether hunting, mating, or raising their young. Today's experiment allows us to see what happens when it's land ice that melts versus sea ice. Like any of our experiments, you can do this with things you have lying around the house. The only thing you might not have handy is Play-Doh. If you do, great, skip ahead to the next video where I'll detail the experiment. But if you need help, I'm gonna take you through a way to make a zero waste, totally compostable Play-Doh from things you have in your kitchen. You'll need a small saucepan to mix everything together in. You'll start with one cup of flour, a third cup of salt, two teaspoons of cream of tartare, one cup of water, and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. You'll whisk all these materials together. It'll be a little lumpy at first, but not to worry. Once they're whisked together, we'll take it over to the stove and heat it up. You'll probably want to ask for your parents for help on this one. Whisk together the ingredients over medium heat on the stove. This should only take a couple of minutes, and you'll watch the Play-Doh thicken as you whisk. After a couple minutes of stirring, you'll want to switch to a spoon instead of a whisk, as it gets much thicker. You can come over here and see how much thicker it's gotten. Now I'm going to turn the stove off and bring this over to a cutting board to cool. You don't want to touch it right away because it is going to be very hot. Leave it to cool there for about 30 minutes and then we'll get to the next part of our experiment. Check back soon and thanks so much.